Talk for Philo Chalk Talk, talking about the areas that you think can be at great risk when it comes to inland flooding, like we saw with Hurricane Matthew in North Carolina. Absolutely, and it's not just the coastal cities here that we're right. talking about. We're talking inland flooding. Tropical cyclones are huge. You know, these impacts can spread hundreds of miles from the system. So let's go on a tour of the U.S. here. Houston, that's the first one. There is a lot of cement. There's nowhere for that water to go, and these systems can sometimes drop 10, even 20 inches of rain in just one day, which... And so low-lying, so yeah. flat, water's not not drain well out of that city no, at all. Definitely not. And so everywhere in this region, when you get a slow moving system and you get time after time again, mm -hmm. storms could be at risk for some very large inland flooding. But let's go up here to North Carolina, South Carolina, places like Columbia and Raleigh, seen a lot of rain so far this year. And like you said, they were impacted very heavily from Hurricane Matthew. Yeah, they they both took huge hits. 25 people died in North Carolina from Matthew, the most of any of the states. And it was weakening when it was coming past yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. Any other places that worry you when it comes to inland flooding? Uh, to, to me personally, I look at the metro cities like Philadelphia, D.C., even further north, because even though when you get up this far, we're really only talking about remnants, you know, pieces of the system, but even those thunderstorms can still drop a lot of rain in a very short period of time. And when you think about the subway areas, all the public transit, right. all the people in this area, even a little bit of rainfall in a very short amount of time can be very impactful. Remember what Sandy did to the subways in New York? Yes. I mean, it was cascading waterfalls. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. yeah. Dr. Navarro, thank you very much. Uh, with our experts as we sound off, uh, Brandon has your questions on Twitter. Yes, so right. let's do one more real quick. Uh, right, Only you, you can answer that kind of question in 20 in seconds. A, in yes. a short time period.